Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Anna. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can utilize community plugins with the Volatility Framework. Volatility is a state-of-the-art framework that is widely used to perform forensics on memory dumps. If you want a quick introduction on how to get started with using Volatility, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. You will find the link to it in the description box below. Volatility comes with a number of readily usable plugins. Members of the digital forensics community have contributed by writing their own volatility plugins. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can utilize custom plugins with Volatility 2 and Volatility 3. Let's start with Volatility 2. On Volatility Foundation's GitHub page, the community repository has plugins designed to be used with Volatility 2. Here is a custom plugin to identify artifacts relevant to Poison IV malware within a memory dump. Currently, when we view the available plugins with Volatility 2, we do not see a plugin specific for Poison Ivy. I have made a copy of this Python script in a special folder called Plugins within the Volatility 2 folder. Now I will instruct Volatility to utilize the plugins present in this folder using this command option. We will view the list of plugins available. Here we can see that two custom plugins designed to acquire artifacts relevant to Poison Ivy malware are ready to use. You can also write your own custom plugins and place them within the plugins folder. Now let's try to add a community plugin to Volatility 3. We will pick one from the Community 3 repository. Here is a plugin to look for cryptocurrency artifacts within a memory dump. The plugin is called CryptoScan. Currently, when we view the list of available plugins with Volatility 3, we do not see the CryptoScan plugin. I have copied this Python script and placed it within the Volatility 3 framework plugins windows folder now we will view the list of available plugins here it is not required to specify any directory name as in volatility 2. here we can find the newly added plugin i hope you have a good idea now about how custom plugins can be utilized with the volatility framework go ahead and try out this task in your home lab if you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!